What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy A that's here, and we are back again with another Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash video. And today, as you guys can tell from the title and the thumbnail of the video, we're gonna be talking about the new official first looks at Chozo and Nabito in Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash. Because if you guys did not know, they're coming as DLC characters for us on November 21st. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're just gonna cut straight into the meat and potatoes of this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys enjoy the Curse Clash content, of course, just let your boy Aaron know. Without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, if you are new here or new to the channel or new to what we're been what have we been talking about, you know what I'm saying? I almost messed that part up. So basically, if you guys did not know, they are dropping the Shibuya Arc DLC Pack 1 in Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash, and has been confirmed to drop this month, November 21st of 2024. And the three characters that we are gonna be getting is gonna be Nabi, Tozenin, Mei Mei, and Chozo. And it mentions we're gonna get ourselves three new maps as well, and we're gonna talk about the maps as well whenever we get into to the uh into the video i think it said three new maps i want to say three new maps anywho we're getting new maps long story short so first we already talked about baby in the previous video where we saw the may may hd hd screenshots so now we're going to be talking about nabito zinnin and we're going to be talking about chozo right so first i want to talk about nabito because i have a lot more information when it comes to him at the time of this recording versus chozo so i have nabito's like basically a little information card or whatever and it basically says the following his curse his curse technique is projection sorcery it says the fastest sorcerer who employs high risk high reward curse techniques to disor disorient his opponents uh, projection sorcery one hit can close the distance at a high speed when attacking pay attention to the flow of battle to keep up with the barrage of lightning fast attacks now the fact that it says he is a high risk, high reward character, I have a strong feeling that he is going to be a glass cannon. If you guys do not know what a glass cannon is, basically it's a character that is really strong, but at the same time has very low defense. Or basically, he's a strong character, but that's all he got going for him, right? And so I feel like that's what it's going to be like for Nabito, because of the fact that it mentions that he's able to close the gap on a character specifically. And since this whole gimmick is basically freezing the opponent, I think we're going to get a character who moves super duper quick who may be more linear than anything but i think whenever he gets a hold with his curse technique he's probably gonna go crazy right so now we have some screenshots to go with um what we just read off and so let's get into this right so the first hd screenshot is just him twirling his little mustache i think that's just gonna be his introduction as you guys know everyone has introduction animation so that's pretty neat the second screenshot that I'm putting up on screen, this is the HD, HD version of the screenshot or basically the HD version of the picture we got from the scan a few days ago, where right there it shows Nabito using his curse technique on Dagon. And I think it's so interesting because they're practically confirming Dagon without, without confirming Dagon, like it's crazy. So like I said in the previous video, A, this looks like this is going to be one of the maps we're going to get. I think we're going to get different areas of the Shibuya arc right of the train station and i think where they fought dagon at is going to be a map right it's going to be one part of the map and it looks pretty good now like i said in the previous video the effect that nabito is given it looks like how when sukuna hits you with his basically his fear ability or he makes you freeze oh correction when he says don't move and it makes the character freeze out of fear it's kind of giving me the same vibes as that you know what i'm saying with the whole black aura thing now, to be fair, it could be that, or it could be how with uh, Sukuna, his is also like a teleportation sometimes as well, where it goes into that animation. So either or, honestly, who knows? But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, so it shows him using his curse technique on Dagon, and I'm, ah, man, I can't wait to play this character. He, he is one of the characters that I have been looking forward to the most. And if you zoom in on the picture, you can even see him look like he's about to kick Dagon out the frame. Ah. I just really want to see what that's going to look like for some joint attacks, bro, because I feel like he is going to be the most OP one out of all of them. Next, we're going to cut to our next HD screenshot of my boy Nabito using an attack on Dagon, which again, this practically confirms Dagon, bro. They have not confirmed this man officially, but practically they have confirmed this man because this you got Nabito performing ultimates on him in the screenshot. Like, come on now, bro. Like, we practically got a Dagon confirmation. 
So yeah, so this looks pretty neat. Uh, don't have much to say about it. I think that he's going to be a very quick and up close character that can close gaps. I think the only other character that comes to mind that plays similarly would be like Toji Fushiguro. I think he's going to be like Toji when it comes to, you know, the breakneck speed of the characters, right? Because you don't really have that many speed-like characters in Curse Clash, except for Sukuna, but he has, like, teleportation stuff. He's not really a, a speed man like that, per se. And then you got uh, t uh and you got Toto as well. I guess you could consider Toto a little bit as a, as a blitzing kind of character, but who knows, right? But yeah, so that is enough for my man, uh, Nabito. Now, at the time of this recording, I do not have the official breakdown or whatever that little card says for Chozo. So we are just going off of the HD screenshots that I do have right in front of me at the time of this recording. Emphasizing at the time of this recording. Y'all like to get at me in the comment section, talk about, Aaron, they just dropped this and I just dropped the video. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so anywho. So the first screenshot I'm gonna put up on screen is my boy Chozo, Chozo, and it looks like he is in his animation. It looks like he's in his intro animation, right? Him standing there with the fist up, and he has his little blood, his little blood dots around him. I think that's gonna be his intro, and I'm kind of curious to see how this character is gonna play, what his gimmick is gonna be. Because if you guys remember with the Mei Mei screenshots and the Mei Mei breakdown, how I had a theory that how Mei Mei is going to play is whenever she has a crows around her, she's able to accumulate a crow throughout the battle and have max three crows that can be able to defend, attack, so on and so forth. I get the same similar vibe with Chozo, right? Because if you think about it, Chozo is supposed to be a better version of Naruto Shikamo right and with Noah Trisha combo he had very good he has very good blood techniques but most of his combos did actually just genuinely come from his bow and arrow so with Chozo he does use his blood manipulation a little bit more so I think we're gonna see a lot more gimmicks implemented with Chozo than we did with Noah Trisha combo so I'm kind of curious on how they're gonna play out play that man out so now ladies and gentlemen for the next screenshot it is gonna be of course another HD screenshot and it looks like well I can't really see who he's attacking but it looks like he is summoning all these different like pillars from the sky um i think he of course he's gonna have to use some of his blood meter to be able to use this now i don't know if this is one of those abilities where it chains down chains down the opponent i do not know if it's one of those uh abilities where it does like once you hit one time you can stack on and do a multiple few more hits who knows but anywho chozo is looking sick in it right and if you compare his model to the attack like that's pretty that's pretty good that's that's a pretty good area that he is covering right there with that now i just want to see how his abilities are going to work because i'm curious on if they have these set up in a way where it's like like chargeable in a way right like to see if you could strengthen if you could sacrifice more blood to do more damage to the blood techniques who knows but you do get to see in the distance you see each story hopping away i think that's a pretty cool it's pretty neat and finally, the last screenshot is my boy Chozo, who looks like he's about to punch the screen. And I think that's honestly just from his ultimate. Because you guys know, they like to drop these screenshots to showcase the ultimate or the joint attack, either or. But I'm just curious on to see which one it's going to be. Now, we should be getting some gameplay trailers of these characters soon, or at least a trailer reveal. Now, the thing about Curse Clash is they also are kind of bad when it comes to trailers. So, uh, who knows, honestly. But ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you guys, but I am overall excited. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments section. Are you guys excited for Navito and my boy Chozo? And by the way, for my Dagon fans, are y'all excited for Dagon too? Like, come on now. Like, y'all can't tell me I'm not excited. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video for real. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys enjoyed the Curse Clash content, of course, there's your boy Aaron No. Until next time, peace out.